Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to talk about C programming language. This is an introduction to C programming. C is a cross-platform language which can be executed in Unix, Linux, Windows and embedded systems. There are a few mainframes like uh, HP, Tandem, Nonstop mainframes. They also run C programs. C is one of the beautiful languages and it is essential for anyone who is entering the software field to know C because if you know the C structures or the skeleton of the language, learning any other language is not a big deal at all. In this session, we are going to talk about the parts of C program. Then we will have a simple program to start with. Then we will extend that and then go deep into that. As you see, this is a this is not a simple notepad. I have used a typical C IDE integrated development environment. This is Dev C++ by Bloodshed Software. This is a free edition available. You can use it. There is a lot of uh, uh, varieties of C available all over the net. I use this one. You can use uh, anything that suits you. So you can download it from this place. Make sure that you are not using it for commercial purposes. Courtesy uh, Bloodshed Software. Thanks for giving C Dev C++ free version for everyone to learn. Now, if you take C programming language or any other language, you always see comments, then you have uh, input and then output statements. If you see in C, this is the two slashes or comments. And there is a multi-line comment also, which is like if I give it in slash star, and star slash, anything embedded within that is all comments. Now, input output statements are there, then compiler directives to instruct the compiler what to do and what not to do, those are available. Then, of course, numbers, strings, and character processing routines are there. There is something called control structures. Any language, you need to have a decision making. If, then, else, then switch case. At the same time, there are loops that help you to do repetition of task. For loops and uh, while loops are available. Then C has very specific thing uh, in terms of uh, relational and uh, logical operators when it comes to decision making. Also, in C or any language, you have got a variety of variables. You can think of variables as mathematics variables, which are uh, placeholders in memory. You have uh, structures and uh, pointers. Uh, allocating a group of variables into your structure, then pointing that memory location. You have file handling how to open a file, how to read a file, how to close a file, how to append a file. So all these things are available in C. C has got a lot of stuff which will take a lifetime for one, someone to learn and practice and master. But in this session, what we are going to talk about is what are the essentials for anyone who is getting into the software field to know about C language. The first thing is, let us start with a very simple program the first thing you need to start including there is a statement called the hash include this is a keyword then stdio.h this means anything that you give in hash include and then within uh, the angle braces this is a header file dot h means header file <coughs> i am saving this as c1.c dot c is the extension of this source code this includes the packages which are already defined or the libraries defined in this header. So you don't have to uh, code them again. C always has a main program. The main which is embedded by two curly braces. So this is the starting of main. This is the end of main. The inline comments you can give as uh, end of main. So the two slashes denote an inline comment just one line comment. To start with the very basic stuff, how to 
print something on the screen, the basic output. This is a standard program everywhere you will see in, in all the C programming books. Printf within regular braces. Hello, welcome to Open Mentor. Then anything that is given within double quotes is called string. It is treated as a literal or as a constant. So printf prints it to the output. This is the semicolon. This is the end of one statement. It doesn't mean end of line. You can have multiple statements displayed on the same line, but the se semicolon is a delimiter between two statements. Now let me save this file. Okay. Now if you want to compile and then execute, there is something called, uh, if you go here, there's a compile and run. Okay. There's a compile and run. If you, if you click this, it compiles this if there is any problem in that, if there are any uh, uh, syntax errors, it will show. For example, I don't give this. Now I save this. I press uh, compile and run. Now if you see here, it is saying in function main or there is a syntax error at the bottom, it shows line number 22, there's a problem. Though he's showing this is a problem here, that's not the actual problem. The problem is here in the previous line. So I have to go and then fix that. Now when I run, when it runs, it immediately comes out of the screen. It prints it and then comes out of it. You may not be able to see in that uh, at that speed. So to make sure that the output window stays for you to see, there's a dummy command command that you say get ch. Get ch means it waits for a character from the user on the output window. So unless you type something, the window will stay so that you can see this getting printed. So I save this file once again. I run this again. Okay. Compile and run. Now you see, this is a new output window. It says, hello, welcome to Open Mentor. And the cursor is waiting for you. And then you can click, you can type a key. Okay, I'm going to type a key. Then it comes out of it. So welcome to this program, very first program in C language. I'll stop here. We will continue with all the programming language aspects of C in the next session. Thank you.